Los Angeles Bulls, mm -hmm. you know, they are on strike. Yes. And one of their reasons for the strike is artificial intelligence. You are up to date, sir. Oh, yes. <laughs> I keep myself up. I don't allow time to, you see? So, I, I, my, very soon, we're going to have problem with artificial intelligence. Yeah, chat GPT and all those you things. You see? Jobs that should be done by human beings <laughs> will be done by machines. machines. So, uh, you'll find that employ employers, w people will work for less number of days. Mm -hmm. So, they have a lot of uh, leisure on their hands. And this is uh, now, young people should take advantage of the rural areas. People will start going on, uh, you know, uh, tourism. They would like to tour places and so on. So, start looking for jobs in the rural areas. Start, you know, start learning about how to handle uh, uh, people on tour, uh, uh, tour guides, tour guides, and travel guides. If, if, if start looking mm. that way. Because very soon, life life will be. If it is true, if it is properly done, life will be easier. Mm -hmm. But because of artificial intelligence, so we should start preparing. But we have a lot of uh, tourist sites. Mm -hmm in the rural, which are in very bad condition. We should start to looking at how to improve them, the approaches, how to get to these places, should be properly done. And tourism is making, is, is, in, in some of the countries, is their main source of revenue mm -hmm. today. And Ghana has a very good chance in that field. It's been there for a very long time. I have a friend, called Kofi. He runs a tourist center called Katsapa. And when he founded the place, he, he married to a, a German lady. They came to me. I used to go and do uh, what we call them, folk, folk, folk tears. Mm -hmm. I used to go and tell and ask himself. And they were paying me. I spent the night. They looked after me very well, food, everything. But you see, when the pand pandemic came, it has ruined it. Mm. People have not, are not traveling as they were before. before. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah no. mm -hmm. So tourism is a big deal. Yeah, it's a big deal. Have you heard about the opening of the Kwan Kuma Memorial Park? Yes. Done by Dana uh, Kufuadu. What are your thoughts on that? Wonderful. Because the day before, one of my sons who is in, in the Britain lost his sister. And he came down and he was visiting me that he's married to an Adan lady, mm. a nurse. And the Adans don't like the NPP. Mm. So my boy is now a complete NPP opposite. And that day, the, the day before the commissioning, they were visiting me. We didn't know, I didn't know that anything had been done to the place. And my son was arguing against Nana Kufuadu. He's like this, he's done this, he's done that, he's like that. You know. Then the next day, I had the window. So I, since I haven't seen him, I don't know whether he's gone back. Yeah. I wanted to tell him. <laughs> when Kwame Goma died, mm -hmm. I had to go to Krofu twice. Yes. And I did commentary on his burial at the Krofu. You did? Yes. Mm. And then came to Ghana. No, 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 it Accra. wasn't buried in, in Kofu. Yes, it was in Guinea first. There, there was this debate over whether he should be brought back mm. or not. I interviewed Kwame Nkrumah's mother. Oh, Nyaniba. Nyaniba. You the, did? The regret is that I didn't take a shot of it. I sat on a small stool. And Kwame Nkrumah looked very closely like their mother. The jawbone, the face. And she was a smallish woman. Can you describe her emotions? Yeah, she said she was weeping. And she, she told me the story of Kwame Nkrumah in a few words. She said Kwame Nkrumah wanted to, to become a priest. And he wanted to go to An, uh, Anusano, uh, where they, they, they trained the priests. Then he had a, a, a friend from a letter, a letter from, he had a letter from a friend in America to go there, and he left. And he said he never heard of him again 
until he had Ghana wanted him to come back, and he came back. And 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 in a room he said, if Kwame Nkrumah had done something wrong, the Ghanaian elders should have taken him into the chambers and talked to him. They, they, they dismissed him, and now they are fighting over whether he should come or not come. He was laid in state in a two uh, a two story building owned by. Uh, be doing so, so mm. and he was a, a contractor. I think Scroff. It must have been terrible for her to okay. have her child predecease her. Yeah, yeah. That day, I think we did and could you both you? Both you. I think they were around mm -hmm. when I was doing the interview. The regrets of my life today, I didn't take a shot of mm, with you and Yan, but Nyaneba. I could have made a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> it's because the, the Nyaneba estate was named after her. Yeah. Yes. I interviewed her. I interviewed Yaniba. Fantastic. And when Kwame was removed from the mortuary in mm -hmm. 37, I stood at the where they have built that place where they were holding the June 4. Mm -hmm. yes, the, yes. I stood there and did the commentary. Senator. You and stood then, there? I, yeah. Then I followed them to State House. That was the first day I saw uh, General uh, Achampo. Achampo as a human being, very smallish. The smallest but buttocks. <laughs> when this man uh, Kutuka was murdered, he was he Kutuka was asleep, and the uh, Arthur's uh, it was called Boachi, I think. Mm -hmm. Boachi. Mm -hmm. He was a tall fellow. I I knew I I did commentary on their shooting. The execution of the people yeah, who the tried. Yeah, yeah. I did the one for. Well, uh, but, uh, what, uh, what they call it? Guitar boy. The guitar boy. Mm, guitar boy. And 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 is it Boachi? What's the name? It was a tall cat. How do you yeah. how do you come do a commentary on an execution? What do you say? Yeah, well, I was great. Uh, 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 was going bravely to to be shot. Uh, the, the other man, he was resisting, and they were dragging him. They were pulling him. I, I, I was describing all that. Then they went behind the thing and they were shot. And then I did it once. So you saw them being shot? Yes. Oh, yes. I saw them being It was very, people got that there was a big crowd to watch. So what is it? I mean, what, what do you hear? What did, you, did, did they scream? Did they shout before? Were they praying? I mean, I did, I did it. The, one, the, the man I saw resisting was that Boachi. He was resisting the, uh, to be shot. But the others, they went bravely to the place and they were killed, shot. What does the sound of the gun sound like? Uh, I can't describe that. Uh, in those days, it just went, you know, they, they were standing behind that. A stake? Uh, uh, it's, it, like it, a little pillar or something, wooden it's a, pillar? No, it's a, it's a mound, mm -hmm. big mound. Yes. Is this so a Teshi, right? Yeah, that's, that's yeah. a short shooting range. Shooting range. So they, the range, the wood, uh, uh, made of switch. Yes. Uh, so it silenced the the shot the of shot, yeah. Oh, okay. No. Did did you have like bad dreams about you seeing somebody being killed? No. no. You never had any bad dreams. No. 